Hello everyone, in this video let us talk about uh, setting the workflow status. In this video let us talk about how we can uh, transition the workflow status using a script runner. And uh, I wanted to talk about uh, workflows because uh, when you talk about workflows, workflow is uh, not really workflow status is not really a custom field that you can uh, simply set when you talk about uh, doing some uh, scripting to update something on your uh, on, on your issue so if you look at uh, let us say any workflow you have a few things that you need to understand and this is especially um, uh, for those who are new to jira administration so if you look at any workflow you have statuses and you also have uh, different transitions and these transitions are represented by these arrows when you look at the diagram mode and uh, let us say if you are at the open status you can actually see the possible transitions when you are uh, hovering your mouse on top of the status so if you hover your mouse on top of open you can see here that uh, the possible transitions that you can do is uh, uh, something that of course are now highlighted so you can go to resolve you can go to closed you can also go to in progress but you cannot really go to reopen status so when you're working with the script when you are let us say writing uh, a script using a script runner in groovy you need to understand how workflows work in case you are trying to transition the issues in case you are trying to programmatically update the status it is not really a custom field that you can directly set. So the first thing that you need to do, you need to first figure out the statuses or the steps that you have in the workflow. So let us say if you want to fetch all the statuses or all the, sta all the steps in the workflow, uh, there is a specific uh, piece of code that uh, you can write and I will be creating another video uh, to basically share how we can uh, work with the workflows, how we can transition the issues. So if you look at any workflow, in a text uh, mode you can see here that in any workflow you have different steps and these steps are nothing but uh, mapped to a linked status so there is a specific reason for using a step in a workflow because your step name can be anything and or uh, and also at the same time there are few advanced things that you can do when you work with workflows but uh, in this video i just want to talk about uh, of course the concept of step for each and every step you have this uh, unique uh, id so you have a, you have a step you have an step you have an step id and at the same time you also have uh, uh, your transitions so for each and every step you can see here all the possible transitions that you can uh, make and uh, if you make let us say these three transitions from open let us say the first uh, possible transition or the valid transition is uh, start progress then it will take you to in progress step so that is your target uh, step or target uh, status so when you're writing your code you first need to figure out uh, the valid uh, you first need to basically fetch the current status of your uh, issue then for that particular workflow for that particular issue of course you need to figure out all the possible transitions so let us say if you are writing a code and you need to basically change the status from open to let us say in progress so the first thing that you need to do you need to figure out whether this uh, transition is uh, possible or not whether this uh, is possible to reach in progress while you are at uh, the open state and if the transition is possible then you will of course uh, transition the issue so you have the <coughs> step id then at the same time you have the transitions and for each and every transition you have the transition ids so these transition ids are actually very important because you will be using these uh, transition ids in your code to basically transition the issue and you will get these transition ids based on the current status or the current step where your issue is currently uh, present and uh, when you write your code you just need to make sure that uh, you are aware how the workflows in uh, jira work and in the next video we will be actually writing a piece of code to transition the issue using the concepts that we just learned so i hope you learned uh, 
something interesting today in this uh, video and uh, do watch and uh, look for my the next for, for my next next video on uh, doing it programmatically doing a transition using a script runner in groovy thank you very much